A Greene County deputy is recovering tonight after he was shot by a suspect this afternoon. That shooting took place in North Springfield in the 1400 block of East Blaine Street. Color 10's Joshua Pineda is there live this evening. And Josh, according to the Greene County Sheriff, it was the deputy's vest that saved his life. That's right. The incident took place around four this afternoon. Six hours later, authorities are still here on scene working to gather evidence. I spoke with Greene County Sheriff Jim Arnott, who says if it wasn't for a special piece of equipment inside the deputy's vest, the injuries to the deputy could have been a lot worse. And I heard a couple gunshots, pop, pop, pop. And I like did this because they sounded really close. I was a little nervous about it. Luke Byler was enjoying his Monday afternoon cooking dinner when he heard gunshots coming from the house next door. He says it's when he looked out the front door window when he saw guns drawn out. It's like this is getting pretty serious. And then I got a call from the Greene County Department and they were like, hey, is this Luke? And I was like, yes. And they're like, all right, we need you to exit, exit the front door and just go right and head to the next intersection to get past cop cars to get me safe. According to Greene County Sheriff Jim Arnott, their fugitive apprehension unit was out to arrest a suspect when they were met with gunfire, injuring one of the deputies. Uh, he was inside of a house. We approached the house. Uh, subject started firing on deputies with a rifle, struck one of the deputies and uh, who was in stable condition. Sheriff Arnott tells me the deputy was saved by a very special piece of equipment that was donated by a member of the community. We didn't have in the budget enough money for uh, rifle plates to protect our deputies. We had a local business owner uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, donate rifle plates. This is the prime example. This rifle plate saved a deputy sheriff's life. The suspect is in custody and is facing several charges. Yeah, there were felony drug charges is, is uh, what we were after him on. Uh, but now he'll pick up, obviously, a couple more charges. And Sheriff Arnott uh, activated the Sheriff's Critical Incident Team to help with the investigation. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Joshua Pineda, Color 10 News.